Well, in the winter months, we're always told to protect our skin from cold air, but you may have noticed that cold air can also impact our lungs oh, yeah. and our breathing. You, you breathe in and you can feel it like, mm -hmm. uh, uh, forward meteorologist Stefano DiPietro is explaining how the cold can trigger respiratory problems. As we go through the winter months, I'm sure many of us are working or exercising outside, and it's very important to remember that if we do that, our lungs can be very sensitive to the temperature and the humidity of the air that's around us. So I want to look at two scenarios here, the first of which is on a nice mild day. Let's put the temperature right around 60 degrees and a decently humid day as well. So as we breathe in that warm and humid air, it's actually going to help keep our lungs healthy. It's going to help clear out any substances that we breathe in that may just be in the air that's around us. So warm and humid air, decent for the lungs, right? If it gets too hot, well, that's a story for another time. It is the winter, so we want to talk about the effects that cold air can have on our lungs. So let's drop that temperature. Why does it sometimes feel harder to breathe when it's colder out? Remember, cold air is not just cold, it's also very dry air. So that combination of cold and dry air that we breathe in can actually irritate our airway and irritate the lungs as well. And that can lead to things like wheezing, shortness of breath, especially for those of us that may have asthma. So if you do have plans to work or exercise outside and it's going to be a cold day, here are some helpful tips. Now, obviously, keeping your head and hands warm and dressing in layers, that's the big one, right? But you can also wrap a scarf around your nose and your mouth. What that's going to do is it's actually going to warm the air before it enters your lungs, and that should help prevent some of that irritation.